Today on Design, Build, and Fix, we're going to show you how to draw basement walls for your house design in SketchUp. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to draw a basement. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a layer that we can put that basement on. So I'm going to grab the plus sign and type in basement and then say OK. All right, so now that we have that on there, what we want to do is we have to work on this from the bottom. And one of the things that we kind of want to make sure that we do is put the walls in the proper spot. And in order to do that, we, we're probably going to want to shut our roof off. And that's going to allow us to know exactly where our walls line up so we can put our foundation right below it. So for instance, this wall here, which is the back of our garage, our foundation has to sit below it. It can't sit below this slab because it's just going to support the slab. We need to support the walls. And uh, we'll show you that once we get through this, but you got to know where your walls are. All right, so what we're going to do is come under here, and we know that this is a group, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, create a surface that we can actually draw on, so to speak. And so what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the porch and the garage first before the basement walls for the house because the porch and garage only have to be 42 inches deep plus the foundation or the footer that goes underneath it. And the, and the house itself has to be 8 feet plus the footer. So we're going to deal with this first because it's a little bit shorter. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle on this surface so we have something drawn. I'm going to have to rotate this around because I have to get that corner, not this one up here. And then I'm going to come over here and do the exact same thing to the garage. And make sure I get that corner. There we go. So now I have those two surfaces. So what we want to do is to offset that to make our walls. So grab the offset tool and we're just going to offset this in. Now 42 inch walls or 4 foot walls, whatever you want to say, only have to be 8 inches thick. So I'm going to type in 8 and hit enter. Same thing for the garage, because they're only 42 inches down, we're going to type in 8 and hit enter. Okay, so that represents our foundation, but we don't need some of these walls because this wall here is not needed because we're going to have a foundation for our house behind it. We don't need this one because there's a foundation over here. So we have to draw some lines on here and uh, get rid of some of these other lines. And so now what I can do is erase this line and this line because we don't need them anymore because that's where our foundation for the porch is going to go. Now in our garage, uh, we know for a fact that this foundation shouldn't be there because we have a wall behind it which will act as our foundation for our walls. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and erase this and then redraw these lines back in. Let me make sure I zoom in and get the get the right points here. Okay. So now I have those in the right proper position. Now I can go ahead and push pull those to the size that they need to be. So I'm going to push pull this one out, and I'm just going to make that even with this one for now. And then I'm going to push pull this one down 42 inches. And then make this one the exact size that it need to be is the other one. Okay, so now we have the foundation walls for uh, our porch and our garage. Now what we want to do is clean up some of these things. Notice we have a shimmering surface there. That's because we have a, a surface that has no thickness to it, so it looks like that. So what we're just going to do is click on it, then right click, and we're going to reverse the face. And that's going to make that at least the white so when it moves around we don't see that it's, you know, shimmering like that. And these are supposed to be white. So I'm going to do is uh, select these by holding the shift key down and then I'm going to reverse those faces and uh, reverse face. All I did was right click to get those to show that pop up. Okay, we don't have to worry about the insides, uh, so to speak, because we're not going to see those anymore. But what I am going to do is I am going to go in here and erase these edges that I don't need and then make sure everything else on the outside is cleaned up and uh, looks like we're all cleaned up. Alright, so there's the foundation for our, gar our garage and porch. Now we want to do this the foundation for the house. 
So again, we have to draw rectangles. So I'm going to grab the corner here and bring it over to this corner here. I just have to draw a rectangle pretty much everywhere to cover that whole surface. Uh, sometimes it's best to zoom in to make sure you're getting exactly where it's supposed to be. And we're going there, and then we have this one here, into that corner. Then all we have to do is erase the edges of the rectangles that combined. Okay, so now we're going to offset those walls for our foundation. Grab the offset tool. We're going to click here and go in. And now because these are 8 foot walls, the walls for a foundation that are 8 foot tall are going to be 10 inches thick. So I'm going to offset that by 10. And again, we have to go back through and clean things up. Now we don't need this part of the foundation wall because we're going to have this one here. And so we're going to have to draw some lines to get this thing cleaned up because we got to close those surfaces off. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to draw our line from here down to here. Okay. And that's going to give us the surfaces that we that we uh, are going to need. Uh, or is it this one? Well, let's take a look. Because we want this to fall on through here. Yeah. So we are all set. We can go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. We get rid of that. And we can get rid of that because this wall is already there, so we didn't need that portion of it. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and push pull that. And because these are, I got to grab the push pull tool. These are eight foot walls. I'm going to type in eight feet and hit enter. And then I'm going to go through and just clean up some of this stuff. Um, we don't need these lines, so I can get rid of those. We'll take a look over here. We don't need this portion of the line. Looks like we have all of those. Yeah, we have all of those now. All right, so now all we have to do is just to fix this one area. And, oh, I can get rid of that line. All we have to do is fix this area in here because what happens is this is the basement where people are going to be, and you can't have an opening into the garage. So we have to actually draw a line on here to close this down to make that the same size as the basement walls. I'm just going to draw a line, make sure I'm on the edge, and I'm going to push-pull that down. I'm just going to push-pull it to the height that it needs to be there, and then go ahead and clean up that line there. And as you can see, I can get rid of this line. All right, so I have all my lines gone, and some of those surfaces have changed to the color I don't want it to be, so I'm just going to grab my selection tool. Hold the shift down to select that, and oh, I really didn't need to do that one. Let's just shift that and right click, reverse faces, click off of it, and as you can see, we now have our foundation wall. Okay, so we're not going to create this into a group just yet because our foundation isn't quite done. Uh, for to keep these videos as short as possible. Uh, we're going to end this one here. This is the foundation walls, and so what we're going to do is to come back in another video and show you how to put the footers on. So that's how you make a basement wall in SketchUp. Thanks for watching another video on how to design a house in SketchUp. More videos coming out shortly. Hope to see you on the next one, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, we'll see you later.